So if you live in specific spots in South America where the weather is just right and uh, the rainy season started recently, you will know that this is around the time of the year where crickets start crawling out of the ground like the disgusting fucking hellspawn that they are. These motherfuckers will disappear for around, I want to say, like three quarters of a year. They just uh, die off and they live their shitty eggs in the ground waiting for the next rainy season to come around. And then when the rainy season comes around and it rains at all, they will just come out of the ground in fucking hordes. I mean, hordes. It is disgusting. Um, outside my room, there is a bunch of cardboard that we have because we are too lazy to throw it away. It's chirping all day, all night long, full of horny crickets trying to get the cricket girls to have wild, violent cricket sex with them. And I have to take it. I have to take it because the, uh, the option, the other option is to go into the cardboard and fucking either spray them or just stomp on them. And if I spray them, they'll go fucking nuts and they'll probably jump on me. And if I stomp on them, I have to touch them and I am utterly disgusted by crickets. I, if I see like three or four crickets crawling around, I will throw up. They are awful, awful creatures who refuse to get the fuck out of your house. You see, other insects, they're, they understand how fate works. They're respectful. You know, I was born outside of this house, so unless some weird incident takes me inside, I'll just live out my five-day lifespan here and die. Crickets feel fucking entitled to enter your home, and they will do whatever they can to do it. I hear crickets constantly just fucking jumping against my fucking window because they want in, because they believe that the world is their fucking oyster, and they can just hop inside my room and w crawl under my closet door and start eating all of my yummy, delicious clothes. But you see, here's the deal with that, you fucking assholes. No, you cannot. It's my room. You. What other fucking bug just openly and without any kind of shame violently attempts to enter your home? Like, imagine seeing a fucking spider try to do that. You would not, because spiders are more decent people than crickets. In addition to the um, open disrespect of trying to enter your home without your permission, they're not... They like to rub it in. You, will, you walk into your kitchen or your fucking bathroom and you see you see all these fucking crickets crawling around right crawling around and trying to convince each other to fuck and looking for sh your shit that they can eat because they cannot fathom the concept of this is not my fucking house they just will not show any form of respect to you and then like Three months, four months go by and they just fucking die. They all fucking die. It's a mass fucking die off. And the thing about cricket corpses is they stink to high fucking hell. Maybe other um, insect corpses stink too. I don't, I don't know. I don't smell dead bugs. But with, with crickets, you don't have a choice but to smell it because there's just so many of them. Because you, di you didn't even know how many of them there was. Because those sneaky little bastards will like crawl into your, your unused shoes and any dark, 
damp hole in your house and when it's time to die they just they just fucking die right they die and they start rotting and they smell like fucking shit and you're like gee i sure wish all these crickets would get the fuck out of my house but they're already dead so you have to get them out yourself and it's a disgusting experience and well they die so 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 gratefully right they're like all right it's my time to die i'll just die in this dude's shoes and you'd expect them to accept that death this easily all the time but they do not these motherfuckers will actively try to antagonize you after you stomp on them if you if you step on a cricket and you do not fucking obliterate its shitty exoskeleton it will try to keep on living i have seen crickets with like three legs just still crawling around trying to get the girl crickets to fuck them three fucking like imagine losing half of your limbs effectively having like two arms or one arm and one leg or just two legs and just going around as if nothing was wrong I hate crickets. I I fucking dis they they cannot take it. Take a spider. If you fuck up a spider badly enough, it'll just accept it. It'll just fucking curl up and die. It will just do it. But crickets, they they fucking spit in the face of death. They're the anime protagonists of the insect world, except they're fucking disgusting, and their corpses stink. They even when they're not corpses, just like wounded, they start fucking stinking. And then you're like, well, maybe I killed enough of them that they won't show up next time. You know, maybe I'm safe. Maybe they're finally gone. Uh, and then you, you wait nine months, right? And then you're like, it's around January, December, and you're, you're, you're tensely waiting for the first rain, for the first serious rain of the season. And it starts fucking raining. And you just sit quietly gazing out the window like a fucking war widow wondering when her husband will come back but for you it's the opposite you do not want your cricket husband to come back because it's a terrible experience but they always come back they always do they always do it's by some for miraculous force of nature i do not believe i have had a single cricket free year my entire life Because here's the deal. The city, every, it always floods. It always floods. The infrastructure in my city is complete shit when it comes to flooding, right? So every time the rainy season comes, and it's a lot of rain, it's a lot of rain, and the fucking streets fill up with water, and uh, you're lucky if your house doesn't fill up with water at least once. Like, uh, not too much, but up to your ankles, or maybe a little bit less. What the fuck is up with that? Like, the, the city knows this is coming every time. And they know that it's going to be a lot of fucking water. But they do not do every, anything about it. So every time, these disgusting little rat bastards, entitled arthropod pieces of shit, just show up at your, in your home. They start eating your fucking clothes. They start stinking up the place. They crawl on you when you think your room is cricket-free and they just crawl on you while you're trying to sleep. They chirp all night long, keeping you awake because they're so fucking horny. And they just refuse. They refuse to show respect, right? When you when you want to go stay at a friend's house and you feel like a bother, you're like, I, you won't even notice I'm there. These motherfuckers are like, you will notice I'm there. I will make sure you notice I'm here. I will make sure you feel pain. I will make your life hell for three months. And you just gotta take it. Because no matter how many you kill, there's always more. My window is closed right now. And yet I can, I can tell there are crickets trying to get in. I can tell they are trying to crawl under the tiny little space between the, 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 win the window and the, the frame. And they're probably gonna make do it because they're the fucking anime protagonists of insects. 
and I hate them. And I had to talk about this for 10 minutes because I am so mad. I do not. I, I hate arthropod apologists. And I know I'm going to get at least one out of the three views. I'm, I'm going to get one of you like, oh, crickets are an important part of the eco. I do not give a shit. The ecosystem can die. The ecosystem can rot. What the fuck? 